What is up, guys? And how you guys doing? And welcome back to another episode of Never Give Up. We have oof, they an interesting, then universal subject to discuss in uh, today's episode. Be because we are going to be discussing on how you should n never give up on your dreams. Now, dreams are basically a universal meaning. And by that, I mean you could have dreams that would be anything. Um, a doctor, a fireman, a nurse, a... an officer of the law, whatever it might be, it might even be uh, um, doing videos on YouTube for a living. Tell me it could be anything, uh, graphic design, uh, like I'm doing. But, um, like, I have seen a lot of people, like, shoot their shot, like, um, then either fall on their butt or not give up. Uh, excuse me, I got a little scratch here. But, um, men work their behind off until they until they obtain the goal that they want to do, a goal or a dream, that some might think there is no way in hell I'm going to be able to get it. Like, um, if you want to be an elementary school teacher, uh, someone who teaches... Then elementary school, junior high, high school, or a major university like NYU, Harvard, Stanford, Yale, Princeton, whatever that may be. Then I know that was really weird, but that's what this show's about. But like, I didn't expect, uh, like. Like years ago, Dom might be doing this. Uh, speaking in to a microphone, giving everyone advice on dealing with their daily, their daily issues or their um, mental health that they are going through. This show is a bit of an advocate. Um, if you are dealing with any issues, either it be uh, physical health, m mental health, whatever, this show is for you. But now to get back on topic here, um, you can basically be anything in the world. Uh, like any job, like if... You say you want to be C CEO of a company one day. I'd say go for it. Go to university, then um get your degree or one degree or multiple degrees in the subject that you want to start. Like if you want to start a non profit organization uh, that helps the homeless. Go right ahead. What is stopping you? Don't let anyone say, um, oh, helping the homeless is a dumbass idea. N no, dumb. it's actually a great idea to um, help uh, uh, those who are unfortunately less fortunate uh, than us. And, and, and I'm not saying like um, you could have, you can not even have like five dollars out of your name. 
and not be able to help. Like, uh, um, die, uh, die help. I want to help with this show every single week. Dumb, and I hope, dumb, everyone uh, uh, profits from it that they do the best that they're able to offer. Like, if, like if they're not able to like reach a certain goal, that doesn't mean you should completely give up on that specific goal. And what am I doing on my phone? Excuse me. But, um... Yeah, it's like, it could be other than, than designing a new social media. Whoa. Never give up the inception. Look. This is weird. Yeah, it might be a little weird that, like, dumb. Yeah. You can make software if you want to build some a hospital that helps um, to individuals who don't have a lot of money, but they need mm, immediate mm, medical care. Um, um, I say go for it. Um, I, I say go for what. Ever you gotta do to like make your dreams dust. Then, uh, like, um, if you enjoyed watching, oh, uh, when you were younger, SpongeBob, Fairly Odd Parents, uh, uh, Danny Phantom, and you have an amazing skill with drawing. If you want to make an animated show that's going to be on uh, Nickelodeon, uh, Disney, um, or like any other programming, or like um, an HBO the animated series where they swear their heads off and there's a lot of blood and gore, like a horror movie, like animated series. Who cares? Um, but do it. Like, and there's, um, if you're an artist, then be an artist. Um, it can be anything. It can be drawing, designing something with, with a freaking mouse. Um, if you want to be an actor. Either in, either in the live action aspect, or you want to do voiceovers, like um, if you for some reason ha might have the opportunity to voice uh someone on, let's just go on a limb here, on Family Guy, like um. There's probably a slew of individuals who have been on Family Guy, uh, big celebrities, or they've just um, imitated uh, the voice of a certain celebrity or politician, which is not that hard, but um. You can do sculpting, woodworking. Um, you can build a desk uh, uh, that is Wi-Fi enabled. Like, hell, don't make it be anything. Dumb. They have made uh, the, the recliners, where is it? Right there. That has freaking speakers in the headrest. You can have a... A gaming chair that is like a Wi-Fi enabled with speakers available in it. 
you can create anything if you put your mind to it. And my hair is being a butthead. Sorry. But, yeah, it's like, dumb over the years, I've had some dreams that, like, um, they did fall completely. Like, I didn't. I didn't um, go through any of them, and for that, I immediately regret them, because there would have been, I might have been successful on like half of them, but some of them I would fall flat on my face, but that wouldn't get me discouraged, but back then, guys... Um, believe it or not, um, I was a very like a vain, vain individual. Uh, vain about how I looked, um, how I dressed. Ooh, excuse me. But um, over the years, I got older. Then um, I began uh, to realize that if you have a goal, like if you want to be a professional, Professor at a major university, the teacher, a mental health advocate, an officer of the law, fireman, doctor, nurse, dentist, what the hell ever. It could be something as hard, hard as being an actor, singer, or a musician. Then, um, if... Yeah, you might get discouraged, like, if if uh, you're a singer or a musician, it is going to be hard to get uh, recognized by, like, <sighs> dozens of major labels uh, that won't screw you over. If you want... If you want to begin your own record label... Then hopefully sign like major singers in the world, like um door ones that are just starting out, or ones that are looking for the company that that are gonna give them a fair deal. They won't steal any of their money. Um, the album. Sales will hit the roof as soon as they hit stores and online uh, platforms. Like, hey, somewhere out there, you could be the guy who signs, um, I don't know, Jojo Siwa to, to a multi-record deal. And the first album. Jojo releases hits double platinum, double platinum, um, in like its first week. Then, uh, uh, and on day one, it already has a million, uh, plays on Spotify, whatever. I have listened to Mudo a lot of bands on YouTube that I really enjoy. That being YouTube girl group Cimarelli, who has been doing music on YouTube uh, for about 11 years or more. Probably over a decade, Cimarelli has been doing music. Then they have just been knocking it um, out of the park with so many views on YouTube. Um, great songs, various covers, and original music that... I will actually have in the playlist 
down below that I will give you my favorite uh, Cimarelli songs. Um, they are both original. Then the cover versions, medleys, mashups, you name it. They have done it in, um, in over a decade. Then they never disappoint. Um, every video... At every video I watch of them, there's a slam freaking dunk. Like Amy, Lisa, Lauren, then all of them. They're amazing. They are amazing, beautiful girls who are all sisters, by the way, who are have such an amazing singing ability. That the first song I listened to of them, I was hooked immediately. Like, as soon as I finished listening uh, to one of their songs, funny enough, and don't make fun of me uh, down below, but um, I was actually a little bored then um, a few years ago I was um I was seeing like how many different versions of the what of the excuse me of the One Direction song What Makes You Beautiful their debut hit then how many different versions how many different styles of it were on YouTube at the time then I found um, Cimarelli's video, told me and I was like, oh, um, they seem interesting. Then I got to say, holy jeez. I was blown away by the vocal range, by the upbeat version of it. I, I know the song in general is upbeat, but... They knocked that out of the park. Um, as soon as I finished listening uh, to Cimarelli's version of What Makes You Beautiful, I was hooked. I immediately subscribed. Then um, I have never regretted it since. Um, if you guys want to follow them on social media, um. Um, I will leave the Cimarelli Band Instagram then their YouTube and their Twitters down below. Because if you guys do not like these girls, you are out of your mind. You're on a different planet. But yeah, like, I'm not afraid of to say that I'm a huge fan of Zemarelli and actually the oldest sister, Chris Amina. At the day of this recording, is both her and Lauren's birthday. So, happy birthday, Lauren, then. Chris Amina, I hope you girls had um, like an amazing day with your friends and loved ones. And then also, Tom, interest, Tom, on a more interesting note, it is also the, the Chris Amina's due date for her daughter. She on the day of this recording, which is August 12th, um, <clears throat> it is her baby due date, and um, we are all hoping that um, she maybe shares a birthday with her daughter, then her younger sister, or it's going to be later in the week. I will definitely be... Looking for updates 
effect on her, then her soon-to-be baby girl, um, whose name it hasn't been revealed, but everyone on social media is giving them so many different options. Bella, Hazel, Dom. Uh, for me, I gave them the idea, Dom. I sent them the name idea of Hunter because not only um, is it a guy's name, but it's a very unique girl's name. So, I mean, um, when they began, like way back in 09, um, a, a lot of individuals on social media didn't think that Cimarelli would be successful. Like, um, seeing as how when they began, there were just five sisters who were young, then, um, no one probably believed in them other than their family and their friends, but what did they do? They got themselves, um, up on a higher... up plain then became successful on social media they've had um mm -mm, multiple tours then if i ever get lucky enough uh, to see them live it would be an absolute honor because um these five girls are amazing singers and I hope anyone agrees with me. And yeah, like they've done videos also about um how uh they got hated on social media in the beginning. Like um even now, then um they just shrug it off now. Like they don't let anyone bring them down. Then I find that that to be a huge inspiration, this especially because they were a singing group. Then, when you're a singer, a music group, or a single musician in general, it's hard to break out in to the music business and um have anyone take you seriously. But they succeeded. Then I literally wish them all the luck in the freaking world because these girls are amazing. Um, hopefully, um, hopefully, if anyone is a fan um, of Cimarelli and you guys uh, screen record or send this video or this uh, section of the episode out of them, um, either it be Lisa, Lauren, Amy, uh, Catherine, Dork, Chris, Amina. That would be amazing, but I don't have my um, hopes up that's going to happen, but if it does, thank you guys so, so much. Then, Dom, I'm actually going to hopefully be reacting to some of the music later in the future. And definitely, like, I would say they are a huge inspiration in music and in never giving up, in following your dreams. That's why I got this on my arm, never give up, that's why the name of the show is what it is because I've spent like half my life giving up on interests that I never saw to the light of day. But um, as I got older, I, I realized I wanted to help every single individual 
not only where I live, but um, all over the world, then if my advice helps you deal with a stressful time in your life, uh, um, that makes me feel happy that you got through any stress or anxiety that you were going through and that is one of the main reasons I began this show uh, that um, this show would be an advocate for not only physical health but also mental health because yes like um dealing with one's like um mental health is a really hard thing to do then um if i'm able to help anyone do that i know i have succeeded in my dream because one of my dreams now, Tom, is that this show um, gets uh, to be successful in helping everyone deal with their issues, have it, um, then it can be any subject or desire, like dreams, getting a dream job, the relationships, friends, family, uh, um, getting over de depression. Uh, um, I, I'm here to lend a word to, to help everyone. Because um, whenever I dealt uh, with stress, anxiety, or de depression, which I have, uh, um, I've always had like a group of individuals who helped me through that. Sorry, I had to scratch. Sorry. But um, a group of individuals who helped me get from, from the deep darkness um, all the way to the um, heavenly light. Uh, um, if you will, Dom, I've had um, major attacks of just like stress and then severe bouts of depression that um, I'm glad I had friends and family that helped me through it. So, man, I'm hoping I'm able to reach all of you guys who are watching this video as we speak now there are some some dreams that you have when you were younger that you kind of phase out of like um i got when you're younger like uh four like ages like uh four through nine or whatever you see a superhero movie like uh, Superman, Spider-Man, Iron Man, then uh, more or less, let's go with the webhead. Let's go with Spider-Man because not only is he celebrating 60 years, but a brand new comic event is going to be happening very soon. Um, Edge of Spider-Man. A mitre verse. Uh, this episode is obviously not sponsored by Marvel, but if Marvel wants to hit me up, my DMs are um, are always open. But um, like if someone has seen any Spider-Man movie in the last few decades, uh, that would be uh, the three McGuire movies, the the, the two Andrew Garfield movies, and now, and now the three, the, the Tom Holland 
movies, that would be The Homecoming, Far From Home, and No Way Home. Which they did reveal that they were going to make three more movies. Let's go. But, like, let's just say, like, a six or seven year old sees, like, any of those, what? Seven or eight Spider Man movies. Then all of a sudden they want to be a superhero like Spider Man. You know, there's a lot of different ways for you to be a hero. Like I said in the beginning, uh, uh, um, you could be a doctor, a surgeon, a fireman. Or firewoman. Door, door. Let's just say the universal, um, or the actual, uh, name. Day firefighter. Day police officer. Or if you want to grow up after high school, you want to enlist, um, in the army, the marines, the air force. Um, those are just a few examples of you being a hero. In a certain way, you don't need a flashy suit and a mask. Uh, uh, then you certainly, certainly, especially if you have a huge freight of a... Especially if you're afraid of heights, uh, you don't want to be swinging like uh, from really large buildings. Um, so no, like um, then, then your son or daughter will like will spend the next few Halloweens dressing up as Spider Man or Spider Gwen. Uh, Spider-Girl, Spider-Woman, what the hell ever. But you don't have to wear the superhero mask. Gotta be a hero. Like I said, a police officer, a firefighter, doctor, nurse, surgeon, or if you want to serve your country and save individuals in uh, in in foreign lands uh, like Iraq, I Afghanistan, whatever, you will be a hero nonetheless. You do not need a dress up in a flashy spandex suit be because one, it's dangerous as hell. Secondly, this is real life. That's a movie, then you shouldn't really like um, imitate uh, real life. Unless you see like uh, Grey's Anatomy or Chicago Med Fire. Or PD, Law and Order, then uh, you suddenly want a job in a fire department, law enforcement, or to be a lawyer. You can also be the hero if you are the lawyer. Then you are defending someone who is blamed for a heinous crime, then you prove out of the whole room that they are not guilty, they are innocent of all of their... charges, then you will be the hero out of them. You will give them their freedom back. Um, also, there have been moments where men and women have been locked up for m for multiple decades for
four things they didn't even do. Then, um, it, say lawyer manages. So um, even though they had like zero information, they they proved that that individual was innocent, and they are set free to after like thirty years. They have their freedom back. They can finally reunite with their families. So believe me, there are a lot of dreams out there that you can do. It's all about being brave. And when things get rough, never give up. Like, always hold your head high. Then you will make that dream a reality. Your friends and the family believe in you. I mean, also, I believe in you. Hey, even if it's, even if your dream is being a bus driver or working in the bloody sewers, like, do it. Like, who gives a damn about what anyone says? No, that's a boring job. That's horrible, disgusting. Who cares? It's all about what you want to do. It's all about your dream. And like I said, um, my dream is uh, to make this show a success and uh, to be a huge advocate for helping individuals deal with their physical and mental health. But, like, um, I believe that's all the time we have for today. Um, I hope any of this advice and stories has, um, helped you, um, go for a dream that you have. So, before I sign off, I want you to go, I want to say, Thank you guys so much uh, for watching. Make sure you hit that like button down below. A comment down if I helped you in any way. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button down below. And also hit that notification bell. So when a new episode goes up, you will be notified immediately. I love all you guys. I wish you the best in life. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.